Hi, this is Brooks. I'm learning Java, and I thought it might be helpful for some of you who might be stuck on a problem if I show you how I solved some common exercises. Please remember there is always more than one way to solve a problem, and many of those ways might be better than mine. So try to solve it your way first. This exercise wants us to write an algorithm to detect non-alphanumeric characters in a given string. And it wants us to output the number of non-alphanumeric characters. For example, given this string, there will be three non-alphanumeric characters. This one, this one, and this one. I went ahead and created this string because I didn't want to have you watch me type this out. The trick to this exercise is knowing that there is a corresponding decibel number for each character in Java. Here is a chart of the ASCII table giving the decimal values to each character. You can see that if we're doing non-alphanumeric, we'll find the alphanumeric characters first. Here is 0 through 9. Their decimal values are 48 through 57. Here are the uppercase alphabet, starting at decimal 65 and going to decimal 90. And here is the lowercase alphabet, starting at decimal 97 and going through 122. You can Google Java ASCII table and you will find this information for yourself. So, if we are looking for non-alphanumeric characters, we want to check their decimal values and make sure they do not fall in these ranges. 48 to 57, 65 to 90, or 97 to 122. Anything that is not in that range will be a non-alphanumeric character. So, how are we going to do that? I would think that first we should iterate through the string. With a simple for statement. So, as we iterate through each character in this string, we want to check if that character is non-alphanumeric using the decimal value in the ASCII table. We'll start by checking if it's non-numeric. Numeric starts at 48, so if it's less than 48, it's going to be non-alphanumeric. None of these are alpha or numeric. So we'll do that check first. If I'm going to go to the next line because this is going to be a long, complicated if statement. We'll use the s character at function to retrieve the character at a given index. The index, in this case, of course, will be i. So the first time through the loop, when i equals 0, we'll get index 0, which will be the first character. And then as we increment i, We'll step through each of these characters. And to get the ASCII value of that character, we'll have to cast it to an int. Now we want to make sure this character is less than 48, which is where the numeric characters begin. If it's less than 48, then we know that's a non-alphanumeric character. But of course, that's not the only test. It could also exist in these range of numbers before the capital letters, and also, of course, in these range of numbers before the lowercase letters, and in this range of numbers after the end of the lowercase letters. So we'll have to check against all of those ranges. Greater than 57, and
less than 65, so greater than 57, and then less than 65, taking care of these characters, or greater than 90, and less than 97, which takes care of this series of characters, and then all that's left is greater than 122. Let's take a moment and make sure that all of our parentheses are lining up. There's quite a few of them. This one looks like it is a stray. Okay, now we have our big ugly if statement. This will determine if a character is non-alphanumeric. The original question wanted us to output the number of non-alphanumeric characters we should be looking for three given this string. So we need to count the number of non-alpha numeric characters. Let's make an int called count to do that. Each time we find a character that is non-alpha numeric, we will increment count. Just so we can see what we're doing in the, the console down here, I'm going to print out our original string so we can reference it. And then once we're outside of our for loop, I will output the value of count. Let's see what we get. Okay, we have three. Let's imagine that the exercise asked us to do something more. Let's imagine that it wants us to create a string containing the non-alphanumeric characters of the input string, or perhaps to create a string containing only the alphanumeric characters of that given input string. We can do that in our if statement here in our for loop. We'll use string builder because strings are immutable. You can't change a string once it's been created, but string builder can. I'll call our first string alpha. This one is the one that will contain the alphanumeric characters. And I'll make one called non alpha to contain the non-alpha numeric string characters. Now here in our loop, when we find a non-alpha numeric character, we will simply add that character to our non-alpha string. And then on the outside of this if statement, we can add an else meaning it is an alphanumeric character. And in that case, we can just append it to that string builder. And then down here, we can add some more outputs to, uh, to see what we have. Let's see how that looks. Okay, here's our original string. We have three non-alpha numeric characters. These are those characters, and these are the alpha numeric characters in that string. It's more than the exercise asked for, but it's fun to play around with it. There may be better ways of doing this, but understanding the decimal values of characters, I think, is the, uh, the important part of this problem. Thank you for watching.
Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button. I'll see you next time.